this is Acer Hall then. Acer, sort of back in really where you were two years ago, looking forward to a season in the Football League with Shotland Town. Yeah, it's um, you know my third one now, and it's it's all flown by, and uh, being back in the league's great, and you know there's a there's a real buzz around the around the camp, and everyone's looking forward to it. For those who haven't done it before in the Football League, are those who have been there before just trying to sort of help them understand what it takes to step up? Yeah, I mean, definitely is um, a step up. The quality is better. Um, obviously, there's bigger crowds to to play in front of, and um, you know, there seems to be more on the line and. Um, points are harder to come by and you know there's going to be a lot of games and a lot of tough places to go this year and I think the lads will adjust to that quickly and um, and we'll be ready with you know I think the gaff is going to put into us. How big is the incentive for you considering Carl Storr has very kindly given you an opening perhaps at the start of the season? Yeah I mean that was obviously very unfortunate for Stars and um, you know we played a massive part last year and um, obviously that's football and when an opening comes you just hope that you know you're ready to to be in that spot maybe and uh, take advantage of it and you know eight games is is a lot of games in in league in any league but in league two you know there'll be um, a tough start to the season and um, those eight games are going to be really important for us. Yeah I suppose you think last season he started all 46 league games didn't he and you know, to miss that number at the start of the season that must just you know, it's one of those horrible things. No one wants it to happen, but you've got to be professional and take your chance, haven't you? Yeah, that's it. I mean, um, you know, obviously for stars, it's going to be a long waiting game for him, and um, I think everyone's sort of got to get around that mentality that you know we're going to be without him for the first eight, and um, you know we've got to really hit the ground running, and, and everyone who plays and who starts those games is going to be really ready for you know a tough test. Pre-season, bizarrely, you could be in another one of the positions you filled last season at centre half because you know, there's not too many of those apart from Pars around at the moment. Yeah, there's not actually. Yeah, so uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind playing there, but um, you know, obviously, I think there are a couple of trialists who could play there, and um, even Jenna maybe. So I'm trying to keep my name out of that position, but you know, wherever if the gaffer gaff needs to play there, then uh, so be it. Yeah, I mean, in terms of pre-season training, how has it been so far? Are you just sort of waiting for that, that first pre-season game just for the season to seem that little bit closer? Yeah, I think, to be fair, with the, the game being this close, it seems uh, you know quicker than usual. So, I mean, the sessions have been tough and um, everyone's been a few moaning about, you know, aching bodies and that, but, um, you know, that's all part of pre-season and the boys look good, to be fair, and I think everyone's done their, their bit out of season and are ready for the, for the game to start now. And training pitches, I imagine, not too hard at the moment. Has that meant extra running? Um, maybe not. No, a few less blisters, maybe. But um, no, the pitches have been great, and um, you know everyone's really, really doing well. How much is it about when you're in League Two actually earning the right to play within the game? It's sort of there's that battle, isn't there, to then be able to get the ball down and play? There is, yeah, and um, I think definitely the the team that gets the ball down quicker and starts, you know, dominating the game will will grow into the game quicker and you know you usually come out on top if you do that and um, there'll definitely be more quality and you know it's going to be very tough for us this year. You know, I suppose it's it's that fitness battle first of all and if you can then win that then the momentum and the team spirit you've got should serve you well as well. Definitely I mean you know the, everyone knows the group that we've got very close and um, you know there's some great footballers in this team and you know I think we'll have a, a real good go at it. Good man thank you. Good luck. Going full circle for you, isn't it? You're, yeah. you're back in a pre-season at Cheltenham Town, heading into a football league season. Quite a lot's happened since then, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's <laughs> it's flown by, and but yeah, lots have happened, and uh, lots of players have been in and out, lots of managers, and you know, to be, still be here is a great feeling. And uh, you know, my third my third season now, and third pre-season, but it's all going great. Did, did did you take much convincing to have to to, to sign that new deal? No, I, I know you you. Played what 30, 40 games last season, sort of in and out of the side. But w w was there much sort of convincing needed to be done? No, there wasn't. I mean, you know, as soon as you know we got promoted and the gaffer was on about contracts and things, you know, I always wanted to stay and I didn't even look anywhere else at the time. So um, yeah, always wanted to stay here and and carry on the journey. Really. Yeah. Do you think you've got unfinished business? Is that is that the key that you, you, you don't want to be remembered as playing only four minutes for John in the football league? That's it. Yeah. So uh, hopefully this season I can play um, a huge chunk of games and uh, you know really contribute to to a great season. Am I right in thinking that you've 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 obviously played a lot of conference football, played a lot of league football? Have you made the jump with the team before? 
TV. No, I've never got a promotion, no. So um, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. yeah, a lot of teams have come up and used that momentum to their their effect. Bristol Rovers did it last year. Is, is that the, 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 the talk in the group to, to say, look, we can, we can make a mark in this league? There is definitely, yeah. And I think, you know, the gaffer keeping the, the nucleus of the squad, well, everyone really together. Yeah. Um, you know, we've come back like we've never been apart, and you know that bond is there from the beginning, which can sometimes take two or three months to get a new team. So I think that's going to be a massive advantage for us straight away. Particularly in the early games, I know Leighton Orient have signed a lot of players. Mansfield have signed a lot of players. Carlisle have signed a lot of players. You could you could hit the ground running because of that. Yeah, I think you know there has been a lot of movement, and um, I think you know us being together is definitely an advantage. Yeah, and um, you know I think teams will have to be ready when they play us. What's your aim for the season? To just get past that four minutes on the opening day or <laughs> a bit more than that? A um, bit more than that, yeah. And I'd like to uh, score a few more goals as well than, than last year. I mean, I've scored lots in the league before. So um, hopefully, you know, get a couple early on in, in games and uh, see where it takes us. You do well to score two more important goals than last year, though, weren't you? Yeah, they were important, yeah. <laughs> I think Jenna was saying about Forest Green and those two fixtures being quite pivotal to them. So, yeah, I mean, it's always nice to score, but to score a winner is great. You can actually say that your goal at Barrow was the goal that took Cheltenham to the top of the table and they never relinquished that spot again so you're in effect the man who won Cheltenham in the National League. Well, that's a nice thing to say, yeah, I hadn't thought of it like that but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep that one, yeah, that's nice. Excellent, right, thank cheers you. Ace.